five sunscreens that I have used and I would recommend. Number one is La Shield. This is SPF 40. Um, it is a sunscreen gel. It's completely oil free. Therefore, it's perfect for super humid weather or particularly oily skin because it's actually kind of mattifying. Number two is Episoft. This is the one that I'm wearing right now. It is a moisturizing sunscreen. Even though it's moisturizing, it's extremely gentle. It does not make the skin oily and it's actually really, really lightweight. Number three is this Bola's Choice one. I'm going to read out the name because it's really long. It's the Youth Extending Daily Hydrating Fluid in SPF 50, which is quite high. Uh, this is extremely rich in antioxidants. I use this after using any Bola's Choice product because that could make your skin slightly sensitive. So you really need to apply a good, strong sunscreen after using her products particularly. Um, so this one's kind of two in one. Uh, it helps prevent uh, UV damage and also helps reverse the signs of aging. So it's kind of two in one. Number five is this Clinique's targeted protection stick. It is SPF 45. A targeted protection stick means you can actually apply it to areas that are more prone to burning in the sun. Example, when I was in Rajasthan last, I would just apply it here and it's not very heavy or oily like you can see. I've applied it and you can't really see it or anything. Um, but areas that you could possibly burn more, this can just help target those specific areas. And the last product that I would recommend is Smashbox's Photo Finish SPF Primer. If you are looking for a primer that doesn't only perfect your skin and prep your skin for makeup, but also protects your skin from the sun, then this is a great product. Um, obviously, any of Smashbox's, pri uh, Smashbox's primers are really good. Is that correct? Yeah, they're all good, but this one particularly only for SPF I'm recommending. That's all.